If you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. Alice in Wonderland. Financial planning is looking at your financial picture today and then coming up with short-term and long-term financial goals to achieve your desired lifestyle for the future. I understand you may lack the time or discipline to follow through with achieving your financial goals. Lucky for you, a certified financial planner, aka a CFP, can manage your finances professionally. They have the fiduciary responsibility, also known as legal responsibility, to do right by your money or face significant consequences. Disclaimer, I am not a certified financial planner, therefore I do not manage nor give individual advice outside of my scope of expertise. With that said, this information is for educational purposes only. Do your independent research and speak to a certified financial planner when appropriate before making final decisions about your money. Hey, hey, welcome to the Built Young, Grow Wealthy podcast. My name is Walida Shree. In today's podcast episode, I will discuss financial planning 101. At any point you hear value, don't forget to subscribe for more great content. Without further ado, let's get into this. There are many ways that you can benefit from having a financial plan, but the top reasons are to make sure you are adequately protected financially after retirement, to improve your standard of living without you having to work more hours, to make sure you are prepared for financial emergencies should they occur. Lastly, to ensure that you enjoy peace of mind. The financial planning process usually begins by gathering information about you called client assessment. The client assessment usually collects information regarding the following. Your personal and family information, calculating your assets, liabilities, and net worth, examining how much income you make, and calculating your expenses, aka budgeting. Documenting your financial needs, objectives, and priorities, understanding problems that are current to your situation, and assessing your risk tolerance. There are six core areas of financial planning that are critical to making your plan work. Number one, savings and income planning. In Beyonce's songs, Ghost, she says, quote, all the people on the planet work at nine to five to stay alive. How come? End quote. The first solution to this problem is ensuring people have a savings and income plan. Without it, it's like running on a treadmill leading to nowhere. Simply put, this plan will ensure you live comfortably on your current income at the same time affording big expenses such as mortgage payments, college tuition payments, emergencies, and being able to afford luxuries such as vacationing and the destinations of your choice. When you know how much of your income is coming in and out of your account, then it's much easier to save towards your goals. To get started, check out my book in the description box. Number two, retirement planning. There has been an uptick of people my parents' age and older working in the fast food industry. It used to be that jobs like those were reserved for high school and college age students. Retirement planning may not seem attractive to you, but imagine being forced to work until you die because you run out of money too soon. Retirement planning helps to prevent that by analyzing your retirement plan and educating you on Social Security and Medicare. If your place of employment allows you to contribute to a retirement plan, please take advantage of it. Or if you are self-employed, consider opening an IRA account. When needing guidance on creating a specialized plan for your retirement goals, reach out to a CFP. Number three, risk management planning. Everybody hates paying for insurance until they need it. Paying for insurance sometimes feels like flushing your hard-earned money down the toilet. Have you ever heard the saying, hope for the best, expect the worst? This is actually the goal of risk management planning. You will need to protect yourself holistically through insurance coverage for life, health, property, disability, and long-term care. I'm a licensed life insurance agent in the state of Texas and an affiliate of Policy Genius. Policy Genius is a one-stop shop where you can shop for whichever insurance you need, compare prices, and purchase your insurance without ever leaving your home. The link will be in the description box. Number four, investment planning. Whenever you hear investment, you probably have flashes of Jordan Belfort from The Wolf of Wall Street. But that's not precisely how investing works. Investing is strategic, not gambling. 
Every person has unique risk tolerance. Therefore, it's essential to understand which investment vehicle is best for your needs. Do you plan to invest for the short term or long term? Or do you prefer high risk or conservative risk with your investment choices? Contact the CFP so they can sit down with you to determine which investment strategies will help you reach your goal. Number five, tax planning. No shade to the CPA listening to this episode, but learning about taxes has been one of my most tedious yet beneficial uses of my time. Of all the things I've mentioned so far, taxes are probably the most important subject to tackle because it's the best way to keep as much of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Have you ever gotten your account frozen, demanding that you pay them was owed? I have, and it wasn't my fault. I trusted a friend to get it done, and it almost cost me thousands of dollars. Since then, I've made it a point to ensure I'm knowledgeable about the subject. I recommend you learn the basics about taxes and leave the rest to the professionals. Consider hiring a certified public accountant, a CPA, a certified financial planner, a CFP, or a tax preparer to assist you with tax planning. Number six, estate planning. You don't have to be uber rich to leave a legacy, but you must have a proper plan to transfer your business, savings accounts, retirement accounts, family heirlooms, etc. The last thing you want is to die and have your assets held in probate, aka by the court, and your loved ones walk away with little or nothing except a bad memory of you. Let's summarize what we talked about today. If you have the time, I recommend that you learn how to manage, protect, and grow your finances and hire professionals to help you with advanced planning. If you lack the time and discipline but have the money to invest in a certified financial planner, I suggest taking this option. If you choose this route, interview a few to find the one you can stick with long term. Your finances might look like a hot mess right now, but with a plan, hard work, and persistence, you will reach your financial destination on time. If you enjoyed this podcast episode, subscribe if you haven't already, Share this episode on your social media platforms. And that's all I have for now. Until next time, I will talk to you later.